Yeah, Bill, as you heard, both parties spent the day laying out their priorities, but the State of the Commonwealth Address gives the governor an opportunity to set the tone for this session, at least from his perspective. For Yunkin, with Democrats in control, he really now turns on to the defensive, especially on hot-button issues, with his veto bin being the only real check for Democrats here at the Capitol. Now, during his remarks, Yunkin addressed some of the issues we've told you he's throwing his weight behind, items like expanding access to affordable early childhood education, addressing the mental health system, stiffening penalties for fentanyl distributors, and tax cut agenda. The governor has proposed cutting personal income tax rates and raising the state sales tax as well, something Democrats are likely to balk at, but Yunkin says it's a package deal in his view. The speech was not without a few highly political moments. Yunkin saying if Democrats send him a bill to eliminate right to work in Virginia, he plans to veto it. He's also calling on the assembly to uncouple future vehicle emission standards from the California model. There was also a touching moment when the governor honored Virginia State University officer Bruce Foster, who was shot in paralyzed while on the job. Now at the halfway point of his term, Youngkin saying lawmakers must work together to move Virginia forward. If we want Virginia to unleash opportunity, the second half starts now. It's time to lead, and it's time to lead together to build a Virginia that is overflowing with opportunity. Democrats had their own response to Youngkin's speech. Richmond Delegate Betsy Carr and Senate Pro Tem's uh, Luis Lucas delivered that response, saying that voters gave Democrats the majority for a reason back in November, and they plan to enact their own agenda, they think, agenda that they think will move Virginia forward and be more inclusive. We must secure our children's future with a world-class education. Focus on keeping Virginia communities safe for our children and protecting and preserving the rights and freedoms of all Virginians. Well, there was plenty of talk of bipartisanship. We do know there's 59 more days now, and absolutely zero hot-button issues have come forward like abortion or gun control, so there's plenty of opportunity for those good feelings to recede just a bit. We'll, of course, be here and keep you updated on what happens. At the State Capitol, Jake Burns, CBS 6.